How do you do y'all? This is John and today we're talking about Red Notice, a new movie out on Netflix right now. And then Red Notice, Ryan Reynolds and Dwayne Johnson team up to gather these eggs that belonged to Cleopatra before Gal Gadot herself does so. Okay, getting into it, the three main cast members are all terrific in their parts. They literally got like three of the most likable actors on screen for these three main characters. Now, granted, they are portraying characters that they typically end up portraying in movies, especially Ryan Reynolds, but you just have to like them in these parts. And not only that, but you understand where this movie's going straight from the beginning where they show like this faux documentary that they kind of made up for the movie that is narrated by the same person who does like 90% of the History Channel's shows. As soon as that happens, you get that this movie's not very serious and it's just simply going for escapist entertainment. And really that's where this movie does its best at. Just being this little escapist film that entertains you for about two hours and kind of puts your mind off of the real world. They're the type of movies that are very hard to come by these days because for some reason everyone just wants to make political films, not fun films. As a matter of fact, I even have a few on the reason why this movie's getting very mixed reviews is because mainstream critics want politics, not escapist fun. They don't understand that really the average person wants more of this not politics. And really every aspect of this movie just enables a fun time. From the writing to the direction to even the editing, it's just simply a fun time. Now I'm not saying this movie's perfect by any means, it's not. For starters, the very opening of the film can be a little off-putting, not the faux documentary thing, but the first heist, so to speak. The action in that scene's not that great, or at least not well photographed, because the camera's kind of going all over the place and it can get a little hard to see, but that's the only scene where that sort of stuff's in. I'd also like to say that the stakes don't always feel as high as they should be. If you look at Raiders of the Lost Ark, which is a prime example of escapism, the stakes are always high for Indiana Jones. And you really feel at times that he uh, may not make it and stuff. But you never really get that feeling with the main characters in Red Notice. And yes, you can put that sort of feeling in an escapist film like they did with Raiders and it would still work out for the film. Guys, in the end, Red Notice is a fun escapist film it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but if you have Netflix and you just want to turn something on for a couple hours, that'll just entertain you and uh, beat you over the head with politics. Red Notice is a fun movie for you to check out if you want to. I'm going to give Red Notice a 7. And by the way, Yes, I would watch this again. Well, that's all the time I have for today. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. 
please also subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, please remember, the Bodetsky will return.